Hey, what's going on guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. In this Pro Tools tutorial, I'm going to show you how to assign your mod wheel on your MIDI controller to the low cutoff filter in the vacuum plugin. Don't forget, you could always get in contact with me with any questions, comments, or ideas, justin at wingsound.com. To assign the mod wheel to the low pass filter in vacuum, the low pass filter is over here. In this area, as you can see, LPF, low pass filter. So the mod wheel is only, obviously, one wheel, one controller part on your MIDI controller. So you can only assign it to one parameter in that low pass filter section. So what you want to do is, you know, play around with the other parameters and choose which one is the most important one that you want to use the mod wheel with. So I'm going to choose the cutoff. So what you want to do is just go over to the cutoff knob right click on it and choose learn MIDI CC once you've done that grab your mod wheel and move it and as you can see now I'm able to use the cutoff of the low pass filter with my mod wheel and if you want to change it to any other parameters in there just do the same thing right click on it and then learn MIDI CC and you can do this with any parameter knob in vacuum now you could do some mod wheel automation and you'll know for sure that you're automating the cutoff because you just set it and you know you can get kind of that dubstep kind of bass thing going you can always get in touch with justin at winksound.com and check out more of justin's videos including these titles featuring the new pro tools 8 now available on demand at winksound.com